Resident Evil 3 Remake just came out and I couldn't be more excited about the game. I'm having a blast playing it, so I decided to make a prop from the game. Something simple and easy. I made this first aid spray that you can heal yourself with in case you get wounded. Let's check it out. Now first things first, you're going to need a spray paint can and there are all sorts of spray paint cans. The one in the game though has a certain type of top, so you're going to have to find ones that have the little button top like this. Mine has a white tip just like that in the game, so you're going to need a can that looks like that. The can that I'm using no longer sprays, so it has some weight to it, but um, if you have an empty can that'll work just as fine, and then you're just going to want to peel the label off the can. We don't want any label on it. And the next step is obviously to add a label. I went searching on the internet to see if I could find a printable label. I came across one image that was pretty close. I had to modify it just a little bit in Photoshop and I changed the dimensions so it will fit our can and I made it an easy printable document. You guys will be able to download with the link in the description down below. Now once I put the image on there, I want to dirty it up some and make it look weathered like it is in the game. So I went and found a kind of dirt filter that I could put over the top of the image. So I turned the layer to dissolve and turn down the opacity in this way it gives it um, a dirty look over the overall can itself. I also brought down the opacity on the image itself because the can looks like it's faded. It's been around a while and the sun maybe was on it so it faded the label. So I didn't want it a nice bright green, we wanted it a little bit less than that. Once that was all set, I printed it out. Now you can print it on regular paper, which works fine. I used glossy paper or even better, you can use sticker paper. This way it's easy to hear on the can. Now once that's printed, it's just cutting it out. I'm using a straight edge and a sharp X-Acto knife and I'm actually cutting a little bit in from the lines that I put on the image. And you can always trim it up to see how close you need to fit it for the can. So I went back a few times and trimmed a little bit on the bottom just to get a tighter fit. And if you guys use regular paper or glossy paper, you're gonna need to grab some spray adhesion. I use this Loctite spray adhesion. 3M makes a bunch and you're basically gonna spray the back of it. Make sure you get full coverage and let it sit for about five minutes or so. You want it to get tacky. Once it's tacky, then it's ready to apply to the can itself. And I lined it up with the seam on the can and then you want to push around the can trying to get all the air bubbles out so everything lines up great. And if you do get any air bubbles on it, you can try to push it towards the side of the can, push it out. This way they kind of go out a little bit. But if they're in there, I didn't mind too much on my can because it is going to be weathered up and beat up looking so it's just going to add to the character of it. And now once that the label is on, I went back and did a little bit of weathering with some acrylic paint. I got some black paint and brown paint here and I just put a little bit on a rag and I was dabbing it on. Now if you put too much on that's okay you could always take it back. I used a solution of 50% water and alcohol and I sprayed my rag and this way you can wipe the can and kind of take it off or smear it in a little bit to get that desired effect. After I went back and forth between the browns and the blacks, I took a little screwdriver and added some scratches throughout the can just to give it a little bit more character. You don't want to go too much ripping through the paper, but with the gloss paper it's a little bit thicker. So I added a bunch of scratches and then took my black on a rag and rubbed it down into there. And then when you wipe it away, it just stays in the cracks right there and looks awesome. Looks all weathered up and beat up. Now you do as much as you want weathering on this in the game. It does look pretty beat up and that just adds to the character of the prop itself. I didn't have to do too much on the top and bottom of the can because it is rusted in the game and the can that I used was sitting out for a while so I already had that natural rust. But you could always try to add that yourself. And guys, that's it. There's your prop right there, your first aid spray. You could put it right next to your game display it on your shelf or maybe you have a couple figures you can put it to and it's a simple DIY project you could probably get done in about an hour.
Well guys, let me know if you're playing in the game in the comments down below. I did a full playthrough of the game. I live streamed it and you can check that out. I played it for about five hours. I'm going to be going back and playing again just to get more unlockables and things that I missed. It's certainly a fun time and I love the Resident Evil series. If you guys are into Resident Evil and you want to check out some box Resident Evil toys that I did a quick overview of, I'll leave a link at the end of this video. It's toys from the 90s from Resident Evil 1 and 2 still in the package. Well guys, that's it for this DIY. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you're not already. As always gamers, I'm Russ Lyman and keep your world fun bit by bit. I'll see you next video. And I want to give a super shout out to all my Patreon supporters, Dan Buchanan, Joey Ellis, George Sandoval, Joseph Riviera, Nintendo, Joe Sheevy, David Apuzo, Maynard, Brian Culpepper, TechWiz X, Matthew Hannigan, Alex Kaz, Ian Oshi, Amanda Bartlett, Gannon Man, and all my Patreon supporters. Link below if you want to join, and I'll see you later.